Lift your heads up like Jesus Christ said, our redemption draweth near. And here's the verse of the day. And it's Matthew 5.10, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. And he said, blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And all glory to our Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. I've been persecuted and called a false prophet, even though I've never set any rapture dates. All I said was, when the child comes out of the woman, Jesus Christ is coming immediately. And he is. And all glory to our Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ again, because he showed me the child in the woman on July 25th. And ever since 726 Harpazo, I've been showing you guys and sounding the alarm and it's been pulling people out of the world. All glory to our Father. I've had many messages and emails of you brothers and sisters saying thank you because it pulled you out of the world and that you were lukewarm and that you've dropped to your knees and turned to Jesus Christ and been saved. Praise you, Father. So everybody that's on the ark right now, let's celebrate. Jesus Christ is coming. All these videos that he pumped out of me that you're seeing me scroll through right now walked you all the way to the Revelation 12 sign on 919. And for anyone that's not awake and on the ark, now's the time to wake up and get on the ark. Because Jerusalem is surrounded by armies. And Jesus Christ said to lift your head up, your redemption draweth near. And your redemption is very near now, family. Jesus Christ never lies. The word is true. I've been telling you. All glory to our Father. Genesis 1.14 And God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And then God, Jesus Christ, came in the flesh and said, Luke 21, 25, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. And 10 days after the Revelation 12 sign was the last supermoon of the quadrilogy that I've been showing you. And a week after that was the last day of Sukkot, the Feast of Tabernacles, the Feast of Weddings. From September 29th, the supermoon, to October 7th. And October 7th, Israel was attacked. Put it together, we're going home, he's coming immediately. And today is Cheshvan 12 on Hebcal, October 27th. And Christina escaped last year, but before she escaped, God gave her this dream. And he tattooed 19 on her shoulder, and she woke up in very excruciating pain and told me that she had this dream, and God put 19 on her shoulder the same day of the Revelation 12 sign. The same number that they put after the virus's name. Then she went back to sleep and woke up and told me she had the very exact same dream again. And in the dream, after he tattooed 19 on her shoulder, he told her and showed her these flashcards and they kept popping up. 19, 21, 13. Well again, the Revelation 12 sign was on the 19th. There's 21 days between when Israel was attacked on the 7th to this eclipse that is tomorrow on the 28th. And tomorrow is Cheshvan 13, just like her last flash card. I hope you're awake. And 13 days ago was the first solar eclipse this month on the 14th. It's called a ring of fire eclipse, and it looks like a wedding ring. Like he sealed the bride. 
and is preparing them for the wedding supper of the Lamb, is preparing them to be caught up. And I showed you, and I'll walk you through it again real quick. And it's right here. Tomorrow, October 28th, is the full moon. The phase occurs at, and it's at the end of the second line, the phase occurs at 2025 UTC. In Strong's Bible Concordance 2025, the definition is altar. And right underneath that is the partial blood moon eclipse. And when you click on the map in eclipse information, I showed you the ecliptic conjunction is at 2025 and it means altar in Strong's Bible Concordance. And the greatest eclipse time when it peaks is at 2015 universal time. And I showed you the definition for 2015 is appearance. And when you scroll down, the last occurrence is Titus 2.13. And when you go to Luke 12, 38, Jesus Christ said, And if he shall come in the second watch or come in the third watch and find them so, blessed are those servants. What servants? The servants that he finds watching. And in Israel, the first watch is 6 p.m. The second watch is 9 p.m., family. And the third watch is at midnight. Well, here's why that's so gigantinormous. And I just showed you, the second watch starts at 9 p.m. in Israel. And the eclipse begins at 9.01 p.m. in Israel. In Jerusalem. And when you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, lift your heads up. Your redemption draweth near. And the maximum eclipse time in Jerusalem is at 11.14. It's right there. Well, here's what's gigantinormous, beyond gigantinormous. The eclipse ends at 1.26 a.m. in Jerusalem. In the third watch, 1.26. And when you go to Strong's Bible Concordance, 1.26 is adios, goodbye. And the definition is everlasting, eternal, everlasting. And Strong's Bible Concordance for Hebrew 126 is a city near Sodom and Gomorrah. And as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it also be in the days of the Son of Man. Likewise also as it was in the days of Lot. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man, Jesus Christ, is revealed.